Hello everyone. In this video, I will be sharing the I will be sharing how you can set off vendor against customer through automatic payment. Suppose there is a vendor who is also your customer. So how you can set off those payments through the automatic payment? So for this, uh, first of all, let's pass one invoice MB60. This is my vendor and I have purchased some raw material from this vendor and I am selling finished good to him. So he will become my customer then. Okay, so this is the scenario. So how we will do this in system. Amount let's say I am buying for rupees 3000. is account debit to Sri Ram Enterprise. Post this document 19. Let me note this. Post one invoice in IP 70 for customer. So my customer is. So I am taking this adder. raw material for 3000 and selling let's say for 2500 so when i will set off i will need to pay 500 to the vendor because i purchased for rupees 3000 so 3k minus 2500 so that would be 500 which I still need to pay to the vendor is my sales. Post document 18. changes in the vendor master and customer master as well you need to link customer account in the vendor master data and vendor account in the customer master data so how you will do this go to this master record change here select your vendor for which we have just now passed an invoice that is Sri Ram enterprise it is already selected enter So in on this screen, general data, you have to go here in this part. Vendor general data. And under general data, here is the column for customer. Here you have to mention, I have already mentioned it. You have to mention the customer. This is my customer who uh, this is my vendor and also my customer okay so you need to link that customer account here it is already selected in my case so after selecting your customer here what you have to do next go to this company code tab and here in the pay, uh, vendor payment transactions Check mark this box clearing with customer. It is very important. If you do not check mark this box, uh, you won't be able to set up a vendor against customer or vice versa. Okay. 
so in the company code tab under payment uh, payment transaction check mark clearing with customer okay and save it from here like this you have to assign the vendor account in the customer master data so for this go to accounts receivable master records change here select your customer was airtel yeah right click general data this tab customer and under general data here is the tab for vendor here select your respective vendor it was this sri ram enterprise selecting and company code tab customer payment transaction check mark this box clearing with vendor okay so there are two configuration uh, we required uh, for payment against uh, for setting of payment against vendor and vice versa one is uh, one is to mention the this vendor uh, one is to mention the customer account in vendor master data and in vendor master data customer account and another clearing with customer or vendor whatever the case is okay so these two configuration we need to do in this master data now you need to go to app 110 or automatic payment okay mention the date and set any identification ko and the parameters payment method is bank transfer next posting date let's say 34 here mention your vendor post this one and the customer also because we are setting up here customer is airtel selected the reference okay now it mark these three again mention your vendor and customer and save the parameters parameters have been saved now go to this proposal run start immediately enter or click on the status proposal has been created uh, before payment run let's check proposal whether it is right or any errors in this part okay so here there are various documents uh, with the documents which i need right now to set up these are this 1902 and this 1800 so i need to block payment for rest of the documents how how i can do this this go to this edit proposal now 18 and 19 select this a block for payment Usually these are selected automatically. I don't know. Sometimes it did not select it, so I I have to select the house banks here manually. If anyone knew about this, please let me know. This and this. Okay. So go to this reallocate. Yes. Okay. Now save this. 
what is this? Now it is showing green sign. Okay. Yeah. So this this document number is for vendor and this 18 document number is for customer. Okay. So see, it has been set off here. Total outgoing payment it is showing 500 automatically why because these have been set off against each other because I have mentioned the uh, customer account in vendor master data and vendor account in customer master data okay so now let's see and we'll see its impact in the line item also it should be uh, changed to cleared item okay, now go back it has been done here go back and now payment run start immediately it should be done if there are no errors one generated one completed yet yes it is done now let's see its impact the document which i have created were open item initially now these should move to the clear clear item so vendor line item cleared item sorry let's say all items Nineteen zero zero two was my document. Here you can see three thousand. It is now cleared. And for customer line item display, go back all items. Okay. How oh, long have I selected all items? Yeah. So it was 18000 to 2500. It also has been cleared. Right? So this is how we can set up vendor against customer when both are the same, one person. So this was about it. And yeah, I have not uh, covered the automatic payment program yet. So if you want me to cover that video, so please. Uh, let me know. I will surely cover that part also. Thank you. I hope it will help you to understand this part more easily. If you have any questions, please drop in the uh, comment section.